All right, everybody. I have here today the Twilight Princess Link from Figma, Nintendo, Max Factory, Good Smile Company. It's a mouthful, but that's okay because uh, he's here and I'm going to review him. Let's take a quick ass look at uh, all four sides we got. Looking pretty cool. And let's get our trusty ruler in here. Let's size him up. So it looks to me he's just clocking in right below five and a half. Maybe where that little orange dot is. Um, pretty good, pretty good. So let's take a look at the face sculpt, hair sculpt, and that uh, cap of his. So with the hair, I do really like it. Uh, it's in like three stages on the face, so it gives a nice little layered look. Uh, the face sculpt itself is perfect. I think he looks exactly like uh, Twilight Princess uh, Link from the video game. Um, and there's little fine details on the face too if you get a little bit closer Looks great moving down to that tunic. So I do like there's little layering elements there uh, Paint applications on the belt buckles uh, and belts are great. Everything's in the right spot I do see a little bit of green kind of going over some belts I do like how the chainmail pokes out of the armpit areas when you raise up his arms You'll get a better shot of it right here, and you can see the details on the tunic as well uh, there's a little stitching here and there. It looks looks great. On his left arm, he does have this nice little uh, leather guard. It does have some fine details, but no shading. Uh, on the inside, you do get little tiny buckles, which are cool, and they're painted properly. On the right, uh, you get the blue, but you don't get another shield. So it's just basic, but it follows the video game. On his back, uh, he does have two pouches for his inventory. One has a hole for his stand. Um, kind of sad, but yeah, it's there. On his boots, he does have little details on the sides of them. Um, again, no shading whatsoever, so it's kind of hard to see it, but it is there. Minus any shading, they did a pretty cussing good job with this figure. Let's see how flexible Link can be. Check it out. His head spins all the way around, even with that big ass cap. So we also get a little bit of side to side motion in this guy, good for posing. And as for the up and down motions, uh, he, he does a pretty good job. He could look that far down and uh, his hair is kind of tilted back so he could look pretty far up too. Uh, his cap does have its own little articulation, little ball joint in there, can spin all the way around. Let's check out that wingspan, pretty nice. He does have uh, pretty cool little shoulder joints. They do swivel all the way around, like so. And he can pretty much go all the way up. Look at that, his arms kind of poke out a little bit, but those joints are nice. He does have nice little ball joints on the elbows. You can bend them quite freely. And onto that waist. It does spin all the way around in the middle of his torso. Uh, he does have a little side to side motion. Not much, but it's always welcomed. Yeah, not much, but you know. Uh, he could tilt back just a wee bit, like so. Uh, more forward than back, so I'll show it to you now. There it is. Pretty cool. That's it for the upper body. Let's uh, move on to those legs. Here he is. Uh, there is the tunic in the way, so he can only spread out about that much. But his upper thigh does spin all the way around. Pretty freely. He does have a little ball joint at the knee. Uh, bends in quite nicely. Uh, bends out slightly out. And little toe joint. And he does have an ankle joint, but it's kind of hard to move. So, mind you, this is the DX version, so he will come with a lot of extras, and I mean a lot of extras. But let's start off with those faces. So the first of the three is this guy. Slightly scally, well painted, looks cool. I'm always down for extra faces. No corals here. And the last face you get is super intense, screaming Link. Looks all right. This is how you take him off. You rip off his hair, you got two little notches, and you rip off his face, and you got one little pig. Peg holds the face, not just hold the hair, and then you're in business. Check it out. 
Oh snap, Hawkeye. So this is an extra hair piece that has the Hawkeye mask on it. Um, used in the video game to see further when shooting arrows or just to see further when you want to look further. Yeah. But yeah, it's well painted, <laughs> looks nice, and well sculpted. I'm very happy with it. And the Hawkeye pairs well with the bow and arrow. This is what you get. Pretty snazzy. This bow looks great. The only thing missing is the twang of the string. Where is that string? Uh, it would have been nice if they added that, but, you know, whatever. Um, at this closer up shot, you can see the details throughout the bow. It does come apart in the middle for easy access, and it's painted well. So it got shot off way too quickly, so let's take a closer look at that arrow. Yeah, it's actually pretty sharp. Um, he has an additional hand to hold the, just the ass end of the arrow, um, and it looks good. So this figure also comes with the sword you get before you find the master sword, the Ordon sword. Uh, it also gives you the scabbard to hold it. Uh, very finely detailed, very, very lovely looking. Uh, I love that red. Uh, the sword itself, um, very, very sharp. Um, it's got some cool weathering effect on the, the hilt, and the sword itself is just perfect. They do a good job making swords. Uh, it does come apart at the hilt uh, for easy access into Link's hands. And by far, my favorite accessory that comes with this figure, the claw shot, or hook shot, whatever you want to call it. Yes, my friends, it's cool. Check it out. The amount of detail on this guy is pretty custom cool. The hand guard itself is pretty immaculate looking. Uh, I like the little chain around, um, and the really tiny details throughout the whole thing. They really captured the game model look. It looks crazy. And you also get an accessory for it, the chain, with an open claw. So there's one more DX accessory. I'm just having a little trouble locating it. I forgot where I put it. Oh yeah, shit, I know, here you go. <laughs> so the last of the DX accessories is the ball and chain. Yes, you get an actual chain, and yes, you get an actual ball made of plastic. It's got some heft to it, it's not that heavy, uh, paint applications are perfect, and I like how it shines in that light. So last on the accessories is the Highland Shield and Master Sword. Every Link action figure must have this. And man, just check that out, that Highland Shield looks perfect. Paint applications, sculpt, details on it. I'm in love. Thank you. Thank you, Figma. It's perfect. Let's take a look at that Master Sword. Oh yeah. As with the Hylian Shield, this is no slouch either. The Master Sword looks perfect. I'm in love with this thing as well. Good job. It does come with a scabbard as well. Great paint applications and good sculpting throughout. I really like it. And it fits quite nicely. So, this is everything you get in the box. Bunch of hands, a couple faces, Ordon sword and scabbard, claw shot, claw shot extension, you get the ball and chain, the bow and arrow, and the Hawkeye. Oh yeah, and you get a couple uh, Figma stands too. Forgot to show those off. It's a lot of stuff. So we're at the end of the video, and if you are actually still watching, I know it's a long one today, I'm sorry, uh, you probably figured out that I am in love with this figure. It is great. Uh, the only thing I can think of that kind of sucks is that maybe the figure has no shading uh, on itself exactly, but it's weird because they shade uh, and put textures on the items you get. Um, I don't know, time and money saves them both of those things if they don't shade the figure but uh, overall I can't really find anything else wrong with it maybe he you know lack of spreading his legs because of the tunic but it's not that bad um, if you are any type of Nintendo fan he's a must pick up and if you're any type 
of Zelda fan, you have to pick them up. It's like a no-brainer. Um, save up those rupees, man. Save them up. Uh, I know he comes in around like 55 bucks. That's before shipping from Japan. Um, maybe if you wait a little longer, you'll find him at your local comic book shop. Uh, I know mine usually does uh, overseas figures like this every once in a while. Um, but yeah, I would try to pick him up if he could. He is uh, pulled straight out of Twilight Princess and into your living room. And hey, this is the DX version we're talking about here. You could always just buy the regular version, and I'm sure it comes with the Master Sword and Hylian Shield, and that's all you really need. Uh, <clears throat> knowing myself, I'm going to just pose him with those two things and put all the accessories I got in a cupboard for safekeeping. Maybe once in a blue moon I'll pull them out. That uh, claw shot is pretty rad, but you don't need it. As long as you got the figure, yeah, Hylian Shield and Master Sword, you're set for life. So, good luck out there, guys. Peace out.